CDC put out its roadmap for reopening schools safely, emphasizing mask wearing, social distancing, and testing. Now, cases in Massachusetts schools are down sharply, 25% in just one week. WBZ's Mike LaCrosse is live in Saugus tonight, where the school district is about to resume some in person learning once vacation's over. Mike? Paul, the superintendent tells me they've been working all year long to get students back into their buildings. They've changed the layouts of the classroom and are already implementing the recommendations that were made today by the CDC. You guys want to go back to school? Yeah. Students in Saugus are ready to head back into the classroom, and many parents agree now is the time. They need to go back to school. We cannot stay indoor forever. This week, Saugus announced it'll transition into a hybrid learning model from a remote model starting later this month. Our classrooms are set up six feet apart. We removed everything in them that was um, beyond a desk and whatever a teacher needed to instruct with. Staying six feet apart in the classroom is on a long list of recommendations that were released today by the CDC. Wearing masks in school buildings is also at the top of that list. The CDC's comprehensive roadmap is designed to help K through 12 schools plan to reopen for in person learning. It includes a color coded system of guidelines for districts depending on their level of community transmission. The CDC also suggests leaving rows between students on the bus. This contradicts New Massachusetts Department of Elementary and Secondary Education guidelines for buses that remove distancing requirements in some cases and advise drivers to keep the windows open at all times. You know, vaccinating educators now is necessary. Today, the CDC also said vaccination of teachers is important, but not a requirement for reopening. But the important piece that they did say is that vaccinations provide uh, a, an essential safety layer. Um, there isn't one mitigation strategy that can keep anybody safe in and of itself. And here in Saugus, a superintendent tells me parents will be able to choose whether or not they want their students to go back into the buildings or to continue learning remotely. Reporting live in Saugus tonight, I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBZ News. Mike, thank you.